Barbara Walters' love life was kept under wraps, but her millionaire ex was famous too. Barbara Walters was known for her dedication to her work, holding innumerable hard-hitting interviews during her decades in television. Her personal life didn't seem to come up often. After her death, people reminisce about her romantic past, wondering if Barbara had left anybody behind but her adult daughter. In this video, we'll take a look at everything you need to know about Barbara Walters' love life and her millionaire ex. Barbara may not have shared much about her personal life or dating habits, and the tabloids may not have been interested in an elderly woman's sexual life, but Barbara had a few whirlwind relationships in her younger years. Barbara Walters did not leave a spouse, but there were a few remarkable people in her history who need to be remembered. Barbara was claimed to have dated a number of men throughout the years, including two US senators, a guy who subsequently became the chairman of the Federal Reserve, and probably Roy Kahn, her lifelong friend, though Barbara denied them being anything more than close friends. Barbara Walters, on the other hand, was not married when she died. According to the late actress's Wikipedia profile, her most recent romantic connection was in 2007, when she dated a gerontologist. Given Barbara's evident health difficulties before her death at the age of 93, it appears doubtful that she was accompanied by a suitor at the time. Barbara did, however, have four separate marriages to three different men between the 1950s and the 1990s. Barbara may not have had a spouse when she died, but she had several romance that turned into marriages when she was younger. Barbara first married businessman Robert Henry Katz in 1955. They were married for just over a year before the marriage was annulled. Walters later married Lee Huber, with whom she had one child, Jacqueline. Barbara's relationship with her daughter was frequently the topic of rumor and suspicion, and Jacqueline's mother's popularity is claimed to have led her down a problematic path. Barbara divorced Jacqueline's father in 1976, although little information about their divorce appears to have been made public. Barbara married her last husband, Merv Adelson, for the first time a few years later in 1981. They were married for three years before their first divorce. Reconciliation and a second marriage occurred in 1986. That marriage dissolved in 1992. Despite hardly much is known about Barbara Walters' first two husbands and their beaus, after her fourth marriage ended, her third husband was extremely well-known in his own right. Merv Adelson was a well-known figure in the entertainment industry, having created shows such as Dallas and The Waltons. Nevertheless, as Deadline wrote in a 2015 homage to Adelson. He was also a person of public fascination due to rumored mob ties. Lorimar Television's co-founder died at the age of 85, years before his third wife died. Adelson previously married two separate women, one with whom he had three children. After his ultimate divorce with Barbara, he adopted two children with his fourth wife. Merv Adelson was well known for more than only marrying Barbara Walters. He was a well-known personality in the entertainment sector, and the rumor of his mob ties persisted throughout his life. Merv told Deadline, that the claims were false and that he never discussed criminal activities with a partner Mo Dalitz. Adelson's celebrity and money, however, did not last. Merv's company was subsequently sold to Warner Brothers for $1.2 billion in 1989, and he became vice chairman for them. He was worth an estimated $300 million when he left Warner, but he was virtually bankrupt after the dot-com meltdown of 2000 to 2001 destroyed several of his investments. Merv left Warner Brothers in 1991, and he and Barbara had already divorced for the last time. They weren't dating by the time he lost nearly all his money, but they had evidently been friends for many years. It appears that their split was due to location rather than a falling out of love. Livingly recalls that the two worked on opposite coasts of the United States for some time. Barbara later stated that she and Merv remained on excellent terms during and after his past marriages. Merv was a nice and compassionate man with a wicked sense of humor. We remained buddies even after our marriage. In terms of how they met, Barbara allegedly met Merv on a blind date. While she adored playing matchmaker and famously matched Paul McCartney and his wife Nancy Shevel, Barbara herself had less luck in love. Yet she seemed to respect the relationships she formed not only with her ex-boyfriends, but also with other connections and friends in the television industry. She has built a reputation for herself and left a legacy with some of the most notable interviews of all time on her resume. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.